Shalom, call Yom La, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and the singers to hope lit around the world. May Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai continue to protect and guide your steps throughout these turbulent times. This is your brother Nadab coming at you with another one. Okay? And today's lesson is through the scriptures we have hope. Once again, through the scriptures, we have hope. Okay, we're going to start the definition of hope. Confidence in the future. Yahweh or Hamashiach as a basis for hope. Expectation of something desired. Trust, confidence, wishful desire. Thing hoped for. Grounds or basis for hope. Okay, Let's see what word that got down here. Uh, okay, a specific instance of feeling hopeful. The general feeling that some desire will be fulfilled. Grounds for feeling hopeful about the future. Someone or something on which expectations are centered. One of three Hamashiach Yom virtues. Well, it's, it's basically talking about the elect because they are the true Christians. Okay, and those are the only ones that's going to have hope in these scriptures because those are the only ones that's going to believe and have faith in the scriptures. Okay, and believe on, on what, the, uh, what the prophecies are saying, what the, what the scriptures through the Spirit is saying. Okay, first I'm going to start off in uh, Romans. 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. Looks like you. Romans 15 and 4. Kind. For what whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That's right. And all these prophecies and all the acts of old. That's what uh, the hopeful let are, are banking on these times. Okay. And that's what uh, give us that confidence and uh, ultimately give, give us that faith and that belief in order for us to endure in this truth, okay? That we, through patience, the sufferings, and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. That's right, because we got to suffer, okay? Because the same way Yahweh shall suffer, even though we're, we're not going to suffer at the height and the pain level as yeah, how it shot the way he suffered. But we're going to suffer, okay? Because we have to be proven in this thing of ours, okay? Let's see what the cross references are. Uh, we got. All right. Uh, all right. Romans 5 and 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. That's right. Because we, we glory when uh, we get chastised by the Most High Yahweh. Okay? Because that shows that he's dealing with us. Doing that tribulation with the patience. Okay? And the same tribulation, the same times that we're going through now. Okay? Being tried. Okay? This is marquee, which is the mark. I'm mean, trying to imprint everybody with a digital all. But the uh, hopeful late are not going to take that. And we're going to wait and suffer until Yah Bashim Yah uh, uh, uh raises us up or uh, uh, delivers us. Either or. Okay? Romans 5 and 4. And patience, experience, and experience hope. That's right. And through experience, we gain hope. Okay? Just like riding a bicycle. Okay? Once you gain more, more, more experience on riding that bicycle, there's more uh, 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 hope, and you know you're not going to fall off that bicycle, okay? All right. Verse 5, Romans 5 and 5, and hope make it not a shame, because the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. That's right. And ultimately, the uh, hopefully late are the only ones that has been given that Holy Spirit to uh, discern between both good and evil, okay, especially in these times, because the two-thirds of our people, man, they, 
They uh, are engulfed in the ways of Babylon the Great, the ways of America. Okay. All right. Romans 8, 24 and 25. Okay. For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what is a man see it? Why do he not yet hope for? That's right. Because if we, we see, if we have seen uh, our power, you know what I'm saying, with bodily eyes, of course we'll be able to believe. But you have to believe the unbelievable, okay? In these times. And just go off the prophecies. What's written? Okay? Verse 25, Romans 8 and 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. That's right. Because we have to wait on Yahweh Yahusha to overthrow our enemies because we have no might in our hands. Okay? So he gives us those uh, spiritual powers. Okay? Or hide us in that day from the Gurkha troops uh, coming through and uh, 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 raiding your house. Okay? Yes, we got uh, Hebrews 10, 35 and 36. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. That's right. Your faith, your trust, which had great recompense for the war. That's right. Don't don't uh, cast off your confidence by getting uh, faint hearted. OK. Because you 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 got you have gotten this for for a reason, y'all. By some y'all shot, it's trying to uh, preserve you and give you that that just reward as long as you endure until the end. Okay, verse thirty six, Hebrews ten thirty six. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. That's right. And that ultimate promise is salvation. At your house shy second coming in those immortal bodies. And ultimately, uh, uh, the kingdom in itself in our hearts is our. But we all uh, uh, earn for because we, we haven't uh, haven't had the chance to uh, enjoy our lives, enjoy our family uh, the ways that we want to in uh, uh, righteousness. Okay? All right. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to get uh, 1 Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore, gird up your lawns of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahushua Mashiach. That's right. And we must uh, keep our eyes single and uh, stand on our square and and hone in on your how about Shem Yahushua and just focus on fearing him and doing what's pleasing uh, to his eyes. That way we can uh, receive that mercy. Okay? And also being delivered. Uh, yeah, I got two more. Uh, go to your pop for Salakia. Um, second Maccabees. Second Maccabees. 2, 17, and 18. And come, we hope also that the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahusha, that delivered all his people, which are the Israelites, and gave them all in heritage, and the kingdom, and the priesthood, and the sanctuary. Verse 18. As he promised, and the law was sure to have mercy upon us, which is the uh, hopeful elect. In these times and gather us together out of every every land under every, under heaven to the holy place, which is the uh, chariots uh, from the nuclear destruction and ultimately uh, Jerusalem back in our land, which is Israel. Okay, for He had delivered us out of great troubles. These times right now, uh, it's fastly approaching when uh, Esau comes with great wrath. Revelation twelve and twelve. Okay. And had purified the place, okay, with those thermonuclear missiles, also those uh, the concentrated laser fire from those chariots are going to be uh, getting it in on Babylon the Great and uh, certain parts of uh, 
the world. But it's going to end off this lesson. I'm going to end off by saying Shalom, Kwam Yasarala, Wabak Shah, Bak Shah, Bak Shah, Yabat Shim Yabat Shah, Shalaf, make it part of my woman, Wab Shah, Wab a ball, a bop a ball, a bop a ball, a bop a ball, Wabak Shah, Bak Shah, Bak Shah, Yabat Shim Yabat Shah, Shalaf, Rain, Wad Nashim, Wad Badim, Wherever Gayim, Astram. I called a woman, why got woman? Why are you about now? Bokasha, 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 Yabashim Yabasha, the water of my Shalom.